Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today for Mommy Monday, we are going to discuss um, a backpack, a diaper backpack. I was really interested in getting one of these um, with having two kids. As you guys know, I'm expecting and do pretty soon here. And with that comes the territory of caring for a toddler as well as a baby and just making sure that you overall have enough space to where you're comfortably traveling and not being so concerned with space and um, as well as just carrying everything in general and making sure that everything is easily accessible when you have your hands full. So originally I had been in my local Bye Bye Baby, if you guys don't have one of those, um, it's basically like a Bed Bath & Beyond but for anything that deals with babies or young children or even uh, pregnant women, they do have a motherhood material Eternity section. Um, it's just a big baby store. I tend to prefer it over Babies R Us just because I feel like the variety is a lot bigger at Bye Bye Baby and you also, they are frequent people to send out coupons so they have, they usually send out like a $5 off a $15 or more purchase, a $10 off $30 or more purchase or the 20% off any single item. And Bed Bath & Beyond coupons also work at Bye Bye Baby. So overall, it's just a great company. And I always have loads of coupons, so that is where I wanted to begin my search first. When I was in the store, I saw this bag, but in black, which I will get into colors in a second. Um, and I really, it got me wanting to um, explore a little bit more about backpacks, especially with another one on the way. And, um, you know, when I was... Before I was a mom, I probably would have looked at backpacks as like, I'm going to become one of those parents um, that have a backpack on their back. And now as a parent, I'm like, I totally understand. It makes you hands free. Um, and especially if you have to free up some space in the stroller, it is a godsend. So that is where I started my journey. I was in Bye Bye Baby. Decided to go online and do a little bit of searching. Now this bag right here is by The Honest Company. It is called their City Backpack. I believe it comes in three colors. However, Bye Bye Baby only sells two of them. And I think if you want the other shade, you have to go straight through thehonestcompany.com. Target may sell it. I know that they sold the backpack, but I'm not sure about the color. Um, the color that Bye Bye Baby does not sell is the navy blue shade, and this is what they call elephant gray, and then there is also a black one. It is all over black with gold detailing, whereas this has silver detailing. I wanted to go with the elephant gray because not only is this color very big right now, the whole grayish, um, it's also very neutral, and so with my other diaper bag, my main one is black. I thought this would kind of uh, switch it up a little bit so I don't feel so um, inept to only using a black bag for the rest of my children's lives. Um, and I wanted to go with something that my husband also felt comfortable carrying. They don't come in any like super feminine, so if your husband is weird about carrying diaper bags in general, this is a pretty easy way to go. Um, so it's very gender neutral, I think at least. Some people may disagree, but I thought that the gray one was perfect. It is vegan leather. And I've had this now for about two months, so I thought it was a good enough time to really sit down and do a review for you guys. Now, this is very, very sturdy. I mean, I've been out in the rain with it. Things have been spilled on it. It's easily, like, washable. I can not... I haven't put in the wash. I don't think you're allowed to put in the wash. But you can easily wipe things off of it without having an issue. I do like to try to take good care of my bags in general just because I want them to last longer. This retails for about $150. If you go through Bye Bye Baby and have a coupon, which it does work on this, you'll get it for roughly about $120 because if you use a 20% off, which is what I did. So I really don't think that's super ridiculous. A lot of diaper bags are kind of in that price range and for me, somebody, if you're going to use it for a long time, $150 is you, an investment. I mean, you are going to save it. So some people spend a lot more and think it's okay. Some people only want to spend a little bit less, but you are kind of getting what you pay for. So I wanted to kind of spend the in-between amount and definitely go with a piece that would 
be around for a while because I'm going to need it for a while. So let's just hop right in. This is empty. I cleared it out so that we can further look. First, if you look at the back, you will see that there are two straps. Nothing fancy about them. It's not super padded, but to me, on a comfort level, when I've had it on my back, especially when it's full of things. I don't ever think that it's uncomfortable. Um, I haven't really been to places where I'm walking long times with it on my back, but from when I have had it on my back, it's been totally comfortable. It does have a handle. We actually keep ours hung on a hook um, when we are not using it and it's at home, and so far this has been intact. Straps are adjustable. They also have that kind of like gunmetal silver accents. One of my favorite things on this is there's actually an accessible zipper on the back. And that is so if there's actually, it's a flap on the inside that is protected. I like to keep my wallet here so if it is on my back, I can easily access that pocket without having to take the entire backpack off and I can just kind of reach in there but the flap is also big enough to hold a laptop so if you're a mom that travels a lot or a dad I apologize if you're a mom or a dad that travels a lot with um, an iPad or a laptop or any type of larger electronic item you can actually fit it in the backpack they have a separate flap for it which is where this opens up to so if you have to grab something out quickly it is very accessible going from the front this right here is the smallest pocket that it has which is still pretty roomy I actually keep my personal things here so chapstick or hand sanitizer tissues anything like that that's like personal or miscellaneous I keep it there just for easy grabbings um, but you can keep anything in there you can keep teethers in there pacifiers whatever you want the next one is that refrigerated material. I don't know what this is called. That cooler material. This is actually very large and very deep. It goes the entire width of this section here and it's very wide so you can fit a lot of things. To me, I always thought that I use this more for um, things for a toddler, like I put his snacks in here, he will have pouches from time to time, like anything like that, I will keep in there, it keeps it dry and cool, and it really helps the temperature stay whatever it is, I love it, and with him, I always tend to overpack, I think all moms will do that, because you never know what's going to happen, and I've never had an issue with like not having enough space, so I love that. You have a little Honest Company logo right here, and what I like is that it's very understated, it's not super flamboyant and out there. So then we have the nice big flap here. It does come with the diaper changing little thing that folds out and you can use it to change your little baby's bottom. Um, it does have a zipper pouch. I like to keep an extra spare diaper in this just because on the off chance that I was running around in the morning and happened to forget to restock or if my husband grabs a bag and he definitely doesn't restock anything before we leave, um, there's always an extra one in here and you don't need to worry about it. So this comes in handy. It's great and I love this. That sits in. So try to open. As you see, there's kind of one big center opening, then there's this big flap, that's where your laptop or electronic would go, that opens to the back. Then you have a big flap here, a zipper pouch, two what looks like those like cell phone pouches, and then on the sides there's also pouches. So there's a big center. I tend to put um, clothing in the center of mine. Anything that's flat, like toys, anything along those lines will go in the biggest compartment. On the side there are um, elastic little dividers that sit right on the inside sides of the pockets. There's two of them. They are big enough to hold a sippy cup, a bottle, a combination. It's just they are very nice to have there so that they don't, they're just not like left laying around and getting like if they leak at all you won't have to worry about that because then they can sit upright. Um, I tend to put sippy cups in there when the baby comes. If I'm using this bag, I can put a bottle on one side and a sippy cup for him on the other. And then the flap that can contain the diaper changing pad and the diapers and the wipes. It's definitely big enough. I will put the wipes, the changing pad, diapers, and I usually tend to keep anywhere from three to five on me depending on what we're doing. 
I always travel with boogie wipes. They are fantastic. I've said that before on my channel. And then I'll have like little miscellaneous things, like a bag to put the diaper in if I happen to be somewhere where I can't throw it away yet. Or I think we even have like a little cleaning pen for laundry, things like that. Anything that's like disposable, I will put right there. In the zipper pouch that is on top of that flap, I will try to show you. I actually keep binkies in there so they stay sterilized and I will close that up and anything that's remotely being used for the mouth like teethers or binkies I will keep in there. There is a little hook for your keys if you're one of those people that is always losing your keys in a diaper bag. There's a little hook you can attach your ring to. Do you have these flaps that you could put a cell phone or a wallet or anything you really want. You could fit more cups in there. It's definitely very versatile. My favorite thing about this bag is definitely the electronic thing in the back. I just love how it's easily accessible for anything. I always, like I said, put my wallet in there so that I can grab it. I think overall this is a very good quality bag. You're getting a decent amount for what you're paying for. I love the quality, the feel of it, the color. Not, you don't find this color in a lot of bags. I think this is definitely like it can work in any type of season. So if you're one of those people that's like I need a diaper bag for a particular season or anything like that, this is great. And I don't feel like I'm ruining this if something gets spilled. The whole inside you can easily wipe and clean so that makes everything more convenient. But overall I was very happy with this purchase and I'm still using this. I only emptied it out for this video and I still love this. If I'm going to the grocery store and I'm not taking my stroller, I can put this on my back, carry him in and then just put it in the shopping cart and not have any issues. I still have both hands. Well, except for the, the arm that is occupied, but I still have a majority of use of my hands versus my diaper bag, which, you know, it was uncomfortable to put over my shoulder if it was super full, and then it's very weighted on one side, and it's just, it can be a mess sometimes with a diaper bag if you don't have a stroller, so a backpack makes things super convenient. For anybody that was looking to get a backpack or looking for the specific one, I hope this helps you. I love this, so I definitely recommend. I was very close to getting the black ones just because I love the gold detailing, but I've been very happy with this. My husband loves it just as much. He was very hesitant at first because he thought this color was kind of too feminine, but he likes this a lot, thinks it's comfortable, and has had no issues finding things after I put them in. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up, as well as leave any comments below for any questions or comments you may have. I love interacting with you guys. So I will see you all in my next Monday video, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Bye, guys!